one collar up and one collar down. Lamps. Hello. I thought I thought I had looked in the mirror. Before. Welcome to two moms and a camera. Where Nikki's fixing her shirt. Right I have now. collar issues. Look at this. Woo. This is like this looks like a spring. Kind of is. So if you pull it, it too hard, it might break. Spring and leather and fringe. Fringe is good. And sparkle Fringe here. is always important. Okay. But this necklace does not work with this color. Apparently. It looks really good. Cheers. Welcome to Two Moms and a Camera. Cheers. We're Cheers. still drinking our pineapple mm -hmm. and rum, although Shelly's is pretty watered down by now. Doesn't matter. Okay. So we didn't know what we were going to talk about. And then I had an epiphany. Uh, I was talking today about how, how I changed my life. She was by, talking about her breasts. Yes. I was talking today about how I changed my life by going to a, a proper bra store. And I decided that this would be a really good um, story to tell you and also some um, information regarding bras. So this is the story. Sadly, after I had children, things just, mm, let's just say... Didn't stay put? Yeah. They they lost some voomph, you know? Is that a word? Voomph? I think it, that's a beautiful word to describe what you're talking about. So, and then one breast was bigger than the other, and and then I often had my bras felt like they were twisting around my rib cage, or I had that dreaded double boob, you know, where you have the blip and then the boob. Have you ever seen that? No. You ever seen anybody that pillow over their, their bra? Oh, no, it's true. An yes. ill-fitting bra will pillow. It's pillow. got a pillow, and it's like a lump and then a bra, and it's not attractive for anyone. Okay, I, I was really tired of buying bras and never feeling good in them and feeling like I just couldn't be comfortable and my bras were moving around, so I decided somebody told me, and I don't know who it was, but I would like to thank you told me to go to an expensive lingerie store. You don't necessarily have to buy something, although I did. I, I recommend if you do this, buy one thing from them. Just so They work they hard. Right. Checking out your boobs. And explain the situation and get properly measured. So I was always buying like a 34B. I was a 34B from the time I was 18. Well, no. 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 So I Just go, because somebody gave you a bra size in your youth? I think everyone's a 34B. Everyone until they get I think they think they are. Right. But That's like the bra size, right? Oh, I'm a 34B. Well, no. So I was measured and she says, um, she brings in this bra and I look at it and I'm like, what? It was a 32D. I'm like, no, 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 no. You've got the wrong, wrong boobs. She goes, no, no, this is, it changed my life. And I'm not being dramatic. You I know I'm seeing dramatic. You kind of are and your hands are freezing. I know, but it changed my life. I was always buying bras that were too big around my rib cage, thus the swing Swinging. around. Ah. And um, so buying a proper bra that fits me and knowing the style to get is really important. So a couple of things. When you buy a bra, apparently around the rib cage, should be snug on the loosest setting. What that means is as the bra stretches, you can tighten it up. If you're already at the smallest setting, it's gonna get bigger. Any stretching of the bra, you have nowhere to go. Okay, have I changed your life already? I think so. Y you've changed mine. So, and then the other thing is, because I'm lopsided a little bit, I was pillowing on the other one side. <laughs> In order to fit, you so pillowing. you fit the bigger side and you let the smaller side just hang out, right? Okay, let's be real. So um, you you fit the bigger side and you know that to prevent the pillowing, you probably need a full coverage bra. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. I have some... some she went through my Nikki's bra covered. So this, I think, is more of a full coverage bra. Do you see how it comes up full here? It doesn't cut across like this. So this, and they'll say, <laughs> now we're going to play on Full line. coverage bra. We need it to come up high. It's got to come up high and right. not, if anything is marked demi and you're an older a woman. A demi cup. Unless you've got really great boobs or a boob job. Right. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. A demi cup is like um, short shorts. No. Yeah. After 40, no demi. Just don't do it. No demi. Just don't do it. Yeah. This is not exactly what I had in mind, but... You don't have what I had in mind. They have like a bustier type of top where it almost just your boobs just kind of sit in it. 
and it's kind of full coverage but it's not a demi it's kind of nice that works for me as well because it pushes everything up, up and holds it and pushes it's it a together. little bit up i often feel like my chin <laughs> <laughs> could rest right on my boobs and that's not good i've never felt that way no though, I, no so there's that style and then nikki swears by these oh. guys I love them so much. Okay, now I have to say I don't think these would do anything for me because I think Nikki has perkier breasts than me. Well, mine have. I've never had a problem uh, that Shelley's talking about. Mine have always stayed where they're supposed to. But then I think I had much smaller breasts than right. you did. So I, I, I had less to go so wrong. So this is really cute if you're small and you don't have much. And you know what? These I could live in because there's no wire hurting they're you. Soft. They're pretty. They're sexy. They hold me in place. Um, I, I wouldn't say that I have, uh, you know, any help here. So There's if no I wear something like this, there. I'm going to be flattened out. I'm right. not going to have, you know, this is my favorite bra. So Nikki showed us this one, and this one has a wide uh, strap. No back fat. So that you don't get any bulging here. But if you follow what I say and you go to a proper bra store, they will see your problem areas or your areas that you, you need help fitting. And they will give you the type of bra. And what I do with that, this is the magic here, okay? You go to these expensive stores, you go once, you get fitted properly, you know your size, you know a brand that fits you well. Triumph bras fit me really well. So I know I'm a 32D in a Triumph uh, bra but I don't have to buy all the bras from that store I bought one now I can go to winners or Marshalls I go to an outlet mm -hmm. and I buy my bra that fits me really well but you know how you've been but fitted. I know what size and I know what style to look for and that has changed my life I kid you not no, that I'd has changed you. my life. I believe you. Everything fits. My favorite, this is a maiden form bra, and I love maiden form. I just, I think they're made for a woman's body. Maiden and form? What, yes. And you'll see, like, these bras have the thin, tight straps that dig into you. This is just luxury, pure luxury, and I, I love this bra. It is, it, it feels good, and, I mean, ladies, you don't want to feel miserable mm. in a bra. You mm. wear them all day. It's supposed to make you feel good about yourself yeah. and keep everything kind of nice and perky and 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 what happened to nipples nipples were in at some stage in my the daughter's been watching friends reruns i mean that show was all about nipples oh no yeah wonder it was so oh, yeah. popular in the 90s in the 80s and 90s it was always about why do we cover up our nipples now i i don't as women i don't know there seems to be this Faux pas now all these bras, everything. you don't ever see nipples. But you know what? This is another thing. <laughs> this is actually really funny. You have to, if you're wearing something, say like this or like this, where you do see a little nipplage, make sure everything is even in your bra. Because the worst thing is if one nipple's pointing up and the other <laughs> one's kind of pointing down. I've seen it. I've seen it. And I was talking to an ex-neighbor of mine. This is going back years. And she had just had a baby and was breastfeeding or just finished breastfeeding or whatnot. And I'm trying to talk to her. And it's like this. <laughs> and I couldn't stop. I had to like, you had to walk away. I had to walk away because I couldn't stop looking at her boobs. So nipples can be sexy, but they have to be like... It, decent, a decent too. I mean, and you're not gonna, in the right yeah, direction. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna wear a sheer shirt with nipples hanging out. No. I mean, that's just rude. No, that's just. But rude. I think we've gone to the other extreme, right. and where we're covering we're, everything is everything. And, and like, you know, come on, we're so, still women at the end of the day. So we're going to we're going to show these bras off. Why do you get the pretty one? You get this one. Okay. Ladies, have, one. have fun bra shopping. Go to a nice store. Really, only if you can't afford it. Only go once. <laughs> and if you have enough nerve, don't even buy anything. Although I can't believe I'm saying that. I always recommend buying something, one thing, right? But get fitted properly. Get fitted. It will change your life. Yes. I kid you not. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome.